just in case you hear. Sorry, I'm whispering because Cleo's sleeping. I'm holding her to sleep. Um, and this is the reason why I'm actually wanting to make this video and get it out there. And hopefully some of you can give me an answer or give me some tips, tricks, help, help, help me. Um, hope you can hear me with the sound machine being in the background and me whispering but um, I hope you guys are doing well first of all having a good day um, so let's just get into this video like I am so desperate for some answer <laughs> so Cleo is about three months old in a couple of days so she is pretty much two months and three weeks old um, she has always been a sensitive baby since she got home and we've been um, pretty much holding her every single day for naps during the day because there are a lot of noises um, during the daytime as you know like outside people talking if they pass us our house or you know people cooking in the house or noises from the dogs barking outside just she's so sensitive so she would wakes up if she hear a noise if we're not holding her and um, she startles a lot. I know that babies are born with a startle reflex. And sorry, my hair's in the way, but I can't. I don't even have a hand to fix it. Um, I know that babies are born with a startle reflex, but we swaddle her. Uh, the swaddle is pretty tight. And, you know, it has the hand, um, it allows her arm and hands to be up near her face so she can soothe herself, which she does. And whenever she wakes up, she tries to put herself back to sleep, but then she keeps on getting startled. And I'll show you a video right after this, and you can see for yourself. Um, I feel so bad. She would startle like every few seconds, and it keeps on happening again and again, and just over and over. I feel so bad. That's why we had to hold her to sleep during the day. Um, one thing though, like at night, she sleeps fine. I mean, it takes us at, at least like 30 minutes to put her down, means we rock her in our arms and then when she goes to a deep sleep we put her down in her bassinet but then she would sleep through the night like seven eight hours and sometime even longer um but then i don't know what it is about daytime maybe it is the brightness of the room i just bought blackout curtains and i'm gonna install it in this room and we will try but we have everything else we have sounds machines we swatter her um this room is a little bit annoying in a way that the floor is creaky. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about it, but it is her room, so she will have to get used to it at some point. Um, I plan to sleep train her. Look at her hair. Oh my gosh, she got so much hair. <laughs> she was born with this head full of hair, and then now it's growing to be, I think, at least like two inches now. So long. Anyway, but um, do you guys know anyone out there who their babies when they were this young that had the same problems or maybe your babies had the same problems and when do they grow out of it is there anything I can do to help her besides just holding her to sleep because it is taking a lot of energy and time from everyone in the house like we have to take turns holding her for her to get a good sleep and then she naps four or five times a day so that's like five hours you know someone just has to hold her um, I do try to put her down like earlier, you know, she fell asleep on my arm and then I put her down in her crib like I just step away to get a blanket for her and then she like startled herself back up and crying so now I'm just holding her so she can see oh, my arm is getting tired from holding the phone and then this arm is holding her um, I don't know, is there anything and anything that you guys know about this, um, please just give me um, just some insights. I would really appreciate it. Um, just thank you in advance. I actually posted this questions on Reddit, and a lot of people ask if I swaddle her, if I put on a sound machine, everything which I'm already doing. It's not helping. I think she's just very sensitive. Sometimes I blame myself for being too stressed out when I was pregnant with her. Maybe it has something to do with this. Just her being anxious and worry and just super sensitive. But there's nothing I can do now. But um, yeah, anyway, you know, I'm trying not to like being so negative. But 
these days I find myself getting so emotional. I think it's maybe a little bit of, you know, the hormones in my body and people say that, hey, be careful for postpartum um, depressions and maybe I have a little bit of mild case because I do get so emotional sometimes. I just want to cry and then I feel so bad about so many things that I just keep on blaming myself for, you know, being so stressed when I was pregnant with her, you know, with the job and everything. And maybe it has something to do with her being like this now. Um, but yeah, anyway, I don't want to keep this too long. I'm going to post um, the videos that I took. Um, one day I was just sitting here and, you know, watching her nap and she was being so good. She tried to put herself back to sleep every time she woke up. But after like the fifth time, I just, I felt so bad. So I just picked up and then I held her to sleep again. I know that it's bad. People say that you have to train them, but she's still young. I'm going to train her, sleep train her at four months. And it depends on the baby, you know. I feel like she is just extra sensitive. So maybe we'll see if she's ready for it. We will, we'll train. If not, we'll take a couple more months. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys. Um, if you can give me any insights on or any information that would be great and yeah i will see you guys next time oh my gosh she's growing so fast guys look at how big she is already and she laughs now it's the cutest thing <laughs> yeah i'm coming i'm coming <laughs> So fun. Oh. Oh. Hey. Okay. Hey. I'm just so happy and like my life has changed a lot now definitely just filled with love for her and a lot of anxiety just because you know like I worry so much for her now but it's just being a part of a, a new mom um, but yeah uh, it's such joy having a baby guys and I never understood until now which and I also feel a lot for my mom, like dealing with me growing up, you know, being stubborn, not eating, all this thing. She's she's doing that right now too, like she gets so distracted and not eating. <laughs> but um, anyway, yes, so, so watch the video after this and let me know if you guys have any idea what's going on. And if it gets better, hopefully it'll get better. And um, if you have been watching all of my like, videos that I've been posting of her, you know, um, laughing... Uh, doing tummy times things like that you know I've been posting a lot of short clips of her and I just think that is such a positivity to be watching a baby like grow and laughs and learns and especially during this crazy time I think everyone could use a little bit of positivity and laughter and brightness into our days you know so I will keep posting clips that I take um, fun things that she does and her milestones and everything to you guys and if you like them please give me a like so that I know that you enjoy the videos if you want to watch us grow subscribe enjoy the family and I will see you next time thank you in advance I'll look forward to hear from you soon bye